Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by this, uh, this race. Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. As always, we have Speedrunner with us today. Hello. And we're going to be playing Articuno in Pokemon Blue Randomizer. Now, Articuno, as you guys probably know, is the best of the three birds, as far as the solo run is concerned. We've had a lot of people do all three birds. I think J-Rose has done all three birds, Speedrunner's doing all three birds in multiple games. Uh, it's, it's pretty much consensus that it's Articuno, then Zapdos, then Moltres. However, what most people don't get to do is play against all of the Pokemon of the game. That's what we're going to be doing today. All of the Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with. So we're going to be starting with Peck and Ice Beam. And that's it. Normally, that's pretty bad. And we don't get anything to level 51. And you know what? It is pretty bad. But, if you take a look at the stats there, in the bottom, or bottom middle, we got 90 HP. So, um, I was just talking with Speedrunner, and I'd say Articuno is pretty much the same as Vaporeon. It's got a little bit higher in most of the stats, but it's part of the slow level up group. So I just don't think it has any way of beating Vaporeon. But also, Vaporeon learns Surf, and Articuno doesn't. So there's also some other changes. But anyways, if you take a look at the stats, we're working with a lot. Um, at the bottom middle part of the screen, it do or bottom bottom part, it says the special stat was 125 in Gen 1. So it got lowered in Gen 2. But for now, we're working with 125 in both offense and defense. So that's pretty awesome. So no statistic is lower than 85. Um, as far as what we're going to be looking for throughout the entire run, it's pretty obvious we're going to be using Peck and Ice Beam for a very long time. E even if we manage to get like a decent move in Cerulean... Uh, sorry, uh, Mount Moon. There's not a lot of moves to get. So what do I mean by that? So one of the best moves we can pick up, as you can see, we don't get Body Slam. So one of the moves we can pick up is Swift, which, as you guys probably remembered, I used in the Pidgeot run. It's a pretty good move that we can rely on, and it has okay amount of attack. And we have a pretty decent attack stat. However, there's not a lot else we can pick up. Yes, we got Bubble Beam when we get all the way to Misty, but that requires us to, you know, beat Misty as well. And it requires us to get through the cave. But what else do we can we really pick up? Like take down double edge? Do you like take down double edge? Speedrunner? Not really. Yeah, I don't like take down double edge either. It's like Although I prefer double edge to take down. Right. Um it's not like we're gonna be using reflect anytime. Uh or rage. Oh. As you can see, we just don't have a lot of options. Like we got Razor Wind and Whirlwind. I don't know if he plans on using Razor Wind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch Razor Wind with a ten foot pole. Razor Wind is basically just, Whirlwind to me. I just say, uh, if I hap if it happens to be the very first TM, I'll just use it. Yeah, and that's a bold choice. Um, since it doesn't have a whole lot of ty uh, typing uh, vari variability, I will be using Fly. I don't know if he plans on using Fly, or maybe he plans on using Sky Attack. Who knows? There's definitely a lot of options here when it comes to the same move types. So like I said, for Flying types, you could use Peck, Fly, or Sky Attack. For Ice types, you can go with Ice Beam or Blizzard, and we're going to guarantee both get Blizzard, so that's good. For Water, we have Bubble Beam and Water Gun. Uh, we also have Badge Boost if we want, Agility. Um, we've had a few Pokemon with agility in the past. Uh, if you take a look at the top, I think all of the Pokemon in my top section there have not used agility or really badge boosting. If you honestly look, the, the first one I think that relies on badge boosting is Poliwhirl. Other than that, like, I think badge boosting is kind of a crutch in this kind of speed run. Yeah. And with a Pokemon that has such high stats like Articuno, it's not going to make a whole heck of a lot of a difference. You know, whether we have 125 uh, special or we have 145 special, I'm not sure it's going to make a world of difference, but we'll see. 
Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by, and I am now ready to go. All right, let me just make sure I'm ready to go. Settings are set. Oh yeah, game dev. Today is a race day. It's Thursday. All right, all right. Um, are you ready, Steve? Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I uh, I picked up a nickname. I that's like the last thing on my to-do list. I I just constantly oh. do not remember what people send. Like I read the comments, I don't remember what they say. Remember, um, remember if I sent a nickname for Articuno, I did for your Gen Two poll. Uh, and if you name it Articone, Snowcone. Art Art ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. J Ban put Frosty Bird. You know, instead of the bird part, just Frosty. Yeah, for Wendy's. Yeah, that's a much better nickname than what I just said. Yeah, yeah all right. That, that was a bad one. Nickname right, so... should be Jesco. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you ready? Yep. All right, music. All right. Three, two, one, good luck. All right. Ooh, I almost, uh, I almost made my name blue there for a second. I had to remember this is a real run. Hi, right, Michaela. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Glad you could stop by this one. All right, which ball is... Article, here it is. I think it was the third one. Yeah, I just look by the order of the the name of the ROM you send me because you always have them named in order. Cole Daniels, oh, that's such that that you know what I'm gonna start doing that. Cole Daniels said I should be naming the rival Speed. Mm. I should do that for the uh, the solo runs, or uh, the, sorry the uh, randomizer runs. Otherwise, then I'll have to start naming the rival Steve. You know what? That'll give me some extra time instead of A. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can start do I can start doing that. Oh, Hello, yes. John. Thanks for the luck. We've got our good old <laughs> rod. <laughs> oh, 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 if only I had a Pokeball. All right, well, we'll remember that. We'll not remember what's on the route. These are some good uh, HM options right here. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, you can't pick Hopefully up. I can... For a second there, I was I I started to go back to the Pokemon Center, and I realized, oh yeah, she she won't give you anything until uh, you're, yeah. I'm gonna be eating Fazoli, so I'm really excited to eat it. I've never had that place. What kind of food do they have? Ooh, I've had I actually knew um a guy in high school whose dad owned a Fazoli's. Really? Oh yeah, they're um. Oh, it's a pizza place. Oh, that oh, it good. is not a pizza place. It is a. Why did Game Dev say pizza? He might have just a, been guessing. It's a noodle place. Oh, that's also that's also sounds good. Oh, there's a lot of good HM users here. I'm gonna go get some balls. And some breadsticks and spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. Like I think they're they they do unlimited breadsticks. Oh, no, no, you have to pay for unlimited breadsticks, but they do do it. Uh, I know Olive Garden has free breadsticks. Yeah, I haven't been... Oh my, I can't remember the last time I went to an Olive Garden. It's been so I long. There, uh, I went there, I think, like a month ago. It was actually very good. It was also hefty. It was also painful for my wallet, too. My, my last memory at Olive Garden is a good one. I, uh, I, I found a dollar in the parking lot. No, 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 it was a five dollar. Nice. I remember one time when I was a young kid visiting my grandparents' house. I, we were riding our bikes. With, I was riding my bike with my brother. We were outside in Arby's. I actually found a $20 bill. Nice. Hey, can Persian learn... Uh... But, uh, I, no, I no, 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 no. I, I thought it was weird. Like, he could learn, like, surf. Something like that. I don't think so. I did. I did. Uh, I did get fly. Yes. Or, uh, sorry. Also, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did catch a flyer. I got far fetched. Do you know what we not have to worry about this run? Fly? Yep, catching a flyer. I already did, just cause. 
maybe just in case you don't want to teach Articuno Fly? Well, I do already have uh, Farfetch'd, so I have a... Oh my god, that's a great rare candy. Uh, I've got... So that means I have a Fly... Cut... I am fighting the optional rival right now, and every time I'm waking up, it keeps putting me back to sleep since it only knows Sing. Oh, darn it. That's one of the things I wanted to do was battle the optional rival. It's too late for that. Did you uh, get that hidden item in Viridian City? I sure did. I picked up every item in the game so far. Okay. Oh, don't you hate it when uh, you get hit by uh, disable and it disables the move you're using? No, 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 no. Well, that's just stinks. Farfetch learns strength, right? Uh, no. I know it learns all of them but one. Right? Was it cut fly strength? Oh, it was just cut fly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I uh, tried to fight the first optional bug catcher. His lead full picks burned me, and then I got killed by his cloister. You know, those optional bug catchers, I've learned to ignore them because... You've never had good luck with them. Yeah. Maybe I'll just avoid them unless, like, the mandatory bug catcher's hard. So I ended up having to, uh, black out. Oh, you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of Krabby. That would sound more... That would sound better. Oh, man. Okay, um, I think I caught a Sand Slash, so I should have, uh, a Dig and Strength user. And Cut, too. I think it learns Cut. Yeah, I have, uh, I have Farfetch'd for that. What is the worst thing you can run into? Uh, probably something with a Rock move. I think it would be, well, it's not Golem or Onyx, because they, those, we looked it up, so it's... Because we'll be faster and we'll one-shot them. Yeah. So I don't think there is a threat. So, I mean, my uh, my thing at the bottom here says we have a fire weakness. And we have an electric weakness. So, I guess... Oh. Hmm, what, what would be the worst? I'm lucky that was not a three-turn... That was not a two-turn bite, or I would have died. There aren't a lot of good fire moves that Pokemon learn by level up, I've learned. No, there are not. So, really, it's just electric type. Is, what's the earliest Pokemon that can learn a, a good, like, Thunderbolt? I know Thunder uh, Shock can be Pikachu? learned. I know Thunder Shock is learned by Pikachu and uh, Raichu. But what about Thunderbolt? Oh, wait, no, I was. I think. Pik I think. No, not Thunderbolt, because by the time it learns it, it the game would make it a Raichu because of that level limit. So, um, if anyone wants to look it up, you can go to, uh, you can look up Gen 1 Thunderbolt, and then go to Cerebi. Cerebi will have, uh, will tell you all of the options. So, I, I just want to know what, you, what learned Thunderbolt. Also, in Gen 1, fire types are not resistant to ice, so it's just neutral. Right, and that's why we have a straight up weakness. Probably a rock type or ar on Articuno. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Golem. Right. Well, at least it, it doesn't know a rock move. We yet. can't. We can't miss Ice Beam, so it's definitely not going to be Golem. We'll probably figure it out. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I should be putting that in my first slot and using the move. Hmm. Raichu Electro Raichu learns Thunder Shock. It never learns Thunderbolt. You know, that's that is a decent move. It's we're only gonna be able to use it for like like two minutes. But you know, it's a decent move. 
I got a uh, water gun. Oh, that's nice. I have that to look forward to. Well, you might not check all the move spots. Uh, in the early game, there's not that many to skip, so I'm going to check them. Oh, there's water gun. Oh, crap. So you're, you're like, right What's behind this move? me. Payday. Man, I wish I could learn that. Oh, I accidentally battled an extra trainer. Uh, please don't be a big deal. Uh, since we're in the slow level up group, are you gonna do what you did uh, in the, with Dragonite and just go out of your way for rare candies? You know, that was uh, what was gonna hopefully be my secret strategy. Not so much of a secret anymore. Well, then again, we both did it last time, so... I'm really hoping that catching all these Pokemon is going to pay off. I'd really hate for it to be like an old rod. Well, then again, we have two spots we can check. What's the chance of both of them being bad? Um, That is a good point. Pikachu... I mean, even if the 6 one is good and the 12 one is bad, okay. we only wasted catching 6. Game Dove has figured out what Pokemon that uh, would be our biggest obstacle. Pikachu at level 26. What does it learn at 26? Thunderbolt. And I can confirm that. I uh, do know for a fact it learns Thunderbolt. Are you sure that's not in only yellow version? Uh, you know, I actually do not know that because I only played it in yellow version. Because uh, yellow changed Pikachu's oh. level up moveset. To Darn make it, it give Thunderbolt early. I'm really disappointed. I just picked up Earthquake. That would have been really nice to have. If you could learn it, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay. Did so, you see what one of the fossils was? I did. And uh, I That's definitely... That's kind of... Well, okay, so you know what that leads me to believe because of our prior luck? If that's the item we're getting, it leads me to believe that both of the items... Or at least, specifically, Giovanni's item is probably useless. Or we'll find out. But I have a feeling that the um, the game dev who made this was extremely smart and thought of everything. So, I have a feeling it is probably a very useless item, but it's worth checking. Because so far, yeah, it is I mean, a fossil has never led to a bad item. You mean led to a good item, right? Right. Sorry, I... I yeah. yeah. Well, I think we'll still go in there anyway, because there is the lift key spot to check. Right. I It doesn't affect the lift key, it only affects Giovanni. Yeah. Wait, what? Give me that. I think this is the quickest I've ever filled my inventory. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna s sell some stuff. Alright, get rid of Earthquake. This. Nugget. What? You don't Five. want Earthquake? What's wrong with you? It can't learn it. You know why I don't want it. But, but, Earthquake's worth money. I s Dude, also, did you how is your inventory I full? I have, I've got four slots. Also, in your last stream, you said that repels couldn't be bought in Cerulean. Yes, they can. You just didn't see it. Oh, I'm blind. I have, I have, yeah. uh, I have been known to have the accidental blindness. Yeah, I left a comment on the, on the stream. Yeah, I saw that. I see all the comments, even if I don't comment back immediately. I just, I, I set away like one time just to to answer all the comments once a week. Unless I really want to reply to it, like, immediately. I usually uh, reply to all the comments. I have not Never. gotten Fly, no. But I am close to getting Fly, if um, the right item comes up. Uh, Raichu learns Thundershock at level 5, I think. It doesn't learn Thunderbolt. That's probably what you meant. Oh, look out, I have the Helix Fossil, sucker.
Do you hear that sound? It sounds like it's coming from the Helix fossil. <laughs> I love that. I really wish that was going to catch on. It's... I have two it's been a while since I've, It's been a while since I've heard it because when was the... When was the uh, last time you made a Gen 1 solo run video? It yeah, wasn't it's, randomized. it's been a while. I think uh, I think the last one might have been a race. I th think it was, yeah. It was after our slow bro cloister race, you started going to Gen 2. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Uh, I don't think Raichu gets... Thunderbolt at 36. Because I fought a ton of Raichu while doing those randomizer runs. It never once had Thunderbolt. Kill this fossil. Okay. You know, Ninetales doesn't ever feel like it's that much of a threat. Ever. Really? No. I feel like in... In your, uh, oh, that's an item. Okay. In your, when I watch a lot of your videos, uh, the yellow ones specifically, Ninetales ends up being a problem with, uh, Blaine a lot for you. It sure does, yeah. Alright, I need some potions. You know what? We can, we can, two birds, one stone. Oh, I did not mean to do that battle, but that's okay. Um, battling is always is always good. We could use the extra experience, even if it's not experience we wanted. Yeah. All right. So here's where we'll hey, get. That was worth coming here. Oh, that that's was, a that's Pokemon a good item. That's a Pokemon I want to do. Marowak. Oh, that sounds like a fun one. I've never used a Marowak in my life, but it, it actually seems like quite a good Pokemon. Yes. Oh, you just are... remember, uh, uh, Marowak uh, only has ground moves for a while, so if we encounter an early game flyer, we'd have to get struggle. Does it not learn even a normal move? Uh, sure, but I remember we would fight a whole bunch of those things with flying types, and we never had to worry. Hmm. Dang, I thought I used to repel. Okay, now I did. Oh, that's an item. I'll take that. No, you won't. You don't need it. You're right. I don't need it. Good call. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it back. <laughs> You're right. I don't need it. I'm just going to give it back. It seems like the right thing to do. The guy gave it to me, and um, I said thanks, but no thanks. Lucky there. I have... 13 Pokemon. My calculations with the Pokeball are constantly wrong. Come on, Metapod. Stop showing up. I don't want you. Dang it. I, I, my repel ran out, and I had one patch of grass left, and you can probably guess what happened. Yep. Uh, Venusaur happened. That's that's the new uh, whenever there's one spot left and a Pokemon ends up being in that one spot, you got Venusaur. Yeah, let's just uh, let's call it the uh, let's call it. I just had a Venusaur happen. Well, I love it because situations that come up like often and like it, they end up being a mistake. I, I, oh, okay. I it's I really cool just this. having those situations. Like we have Aerodactyl is whenever um something bad happens like. Or what's it? Um, I lost my train. Yeah, so sometimes bad situations just come up often, and we make the situation once, so now doing too many... Um... Oh, crap. I forget what happened with Aerodactyl, but it's very obvious whenever something Aerodactyl happens. Yeah, we just call that an Aerodactyl. Holy oh, crap. man, I'm just getting stuff after stuff today. I know. I think we need, like, strength in, like, the, uh, 
one of the keys. You don't know where I've been. I assume you've probably made it to Celadon by now. Yeah, I have. Yeah, okay. We just I need just messed to do. strength, and I think the card key, and like, we're set. Ooh, I love it. I checked an optional spot. Got a rare candy. Nice. From now on, you should name your rival Steve. Uh, yeah, if he names his rival Speed, I'll name mine Steve. We both have to agree to do it. And they're both five characters long, so nobody gets an advantage. <laughs> that's that's the truth. <laughs> but then again, maybe uh, maybe uh, you'll get the advantage because two of the letters will be the same back to back, while I have to go back and forth more. So I may have a point three second disadvantage. What? I don't know. I'm just coming up with stuff. Hey, lucky freeze. Come on, come on. Can I get another uh, optional rare candy? That would be fantastic. All right, nugget. Oh, that's a good one. HP up. I'll take a nugget HP up. All right, where to check next? All right, I know where to check next. Uh, 44. Get out of the 44 is rest, right? Yeah. Okay, you know, I got my optional move. I didn't even really want rest, but you know, I have it. Okay, I got that. Ooh, that reminds me. How many elixirs and crap do I have? I think I've already got one max elixir and one regular elixir, if I recall. I think I have two of them. Yeah, that seems about right. Nice. That rocket normally always gives me a bunch of problems. Today, it was three ice beams. We're both doing different things right now. Whoa, Dragonite, 570 power ice beam. Ouch, that'll all leave a mark. <laughs> Imagine if it, how much power it would have been if it was Blizzard. Is it possible for a move to get effective base power of 999? You think uh, that's possible? So that math would be pretty easy. You just figure out what the uh, highest power move in the game, see if it has a... Um, if it has an advantage over oh. any Pokemon. The and one I can think of is actually a, a, a same type attack bonus sky attack on a Parasect. Yes, that would uh, that would definitely be one of the highest. It'd be overkill. It sure would. Oh, you know what? Uh, a game of did, dig, fuck, screw me over. Uh... It did not. No, the game's called Where Did I Last Dig? Right. Mine was an alternative name. Come on, this is a family-friendly show. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Oh, oh, I just used Dig in the overworld. That scared me. Wait, you can't use Dig in the overworld? Right. That's why it scared me. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't need to heal. Last words ever. All right. No, get off oh, my screen. I need a badge to use that item? Oh, that makes perfect sense. You know, Hello, that reminds banana me. Man. Did you say Van Man? Hey, uh, us da, ba da Banana Man. Oh. Hi, how you doing? Uh, you'll never guess what TM I found. Blizzard? Whirlwind. Oh, dude, I was going to be like, you got Blizzard early? Nice, good for you. Oh, full heal. I actually needed that. I'm burned. What's TM-47? Uh, I picked that one up. It's Explosion. Oh. Just had to shiny Cyndaquil and Violet. Oh, nice. Oh, dude. I, I get... I think shinies have just become, like, a big thing. People really like shinies. Like, it's, it's their new hobby. I get a lot of people that talk about shinies. At some point, I plan to continue shiny hunting that Celebi and Crystal. When I feel like it, of course. I could get one. You can confirm that is correct. Alright. Glad to hear that. 
I could go ahead and get that shiny uh, Celebi for you. It'll only take a few minutes. Oh, that... Oak, where were you? Where were you when I used that item? Normally you tell me not to. Did you use a repel in the overworld? I did. <laughs> where were That's you, funny. Oak? <laughs> That's what I needed you. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have been upset if he told you not to use a repel right. in the city. Oak, you were supposed to tell me, hey, there's no grass here. You know, that would have been really useful. I checked Raichu's learns Thunderbolt at level 5 in yellow. Yeah, Pikachu and Raichu got different level up sets in yellow. Alright, well, uh, okay, well, I have no, um, no move slots. Or, sorry, no item slots. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take that hint. Let's see, I've gotten that. That. Hmm. Actually, I've only received oh. one of the three of the stuff I'm thinking of. We could do a real Hail Mary. There's some quick items we can check. How is that a Hail Mary? Just checking easy items. Well, because you... Because they're out of the way. But you just said they were easy. They're easy, but they're still out of the way. Oh. Okay. Um, oh god, why does Articuno look like that? Yeah, I know, this sprite's ugly. You I, don't want to look at its front sprite. It's it's bad. I'm so used to the Gen 1 sprites, I actually think it's okay. Oh, uh, the front sprite? Uh, both. I eh, think, he's uh, used to it, don't listen to him. I think there's a lot of awful ones where Articuno's is actually kind of good. I would definitely put it in the upper tier of sprites. Oh, darn it. I am so stupid. You'd think at some point it would get I get it through my thick head that one of the only types that resists flying is electric. Or sorry, the one of the only types that electric resists is fly. Ing. Yeah, I think it's just fly and other electric. Yeah. Ooh. I just, I just got a candy. I just don't think of electric. Um, or flying. When you think of electric types. Like, I just can't, I can't correlate it. Like, why? Why does elect, why do electric types resist flying? Well, I just used a flying move on a Parasect, but I don't have the base power on my screen like you do. Have I checked that location? I have checked that location. Man, they've hunted these things to extinction, haven't they? Everybody's been wanting a flyer. And then they just killed them all. That would explain it. Yes, that makes perfect sense. That would explain a lot, actually. Mm. You're right. This run is going wicked fast. I feel like I, I know. all I need is strength in the card key and it's game over. And there's a good chance I can get both of them in this area. So you mean to tell me you have the pokey flute? I do have the pokey flute. Hmm, must be an area I'm just about to check. You know, uh, remember those Hail Marys that I talked about? Might have been one of those. Yes. Oh, well, I have another one. Uh, now I just need the card key, and I win. Alright, so you found strength. I'm going to go peek over to your stream. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Now that's cheating. Oh, wow. I uh, forgot that I don't have the repel up. That was real lucky of me. Also, I don't have very many item slots open right now. What if I don't get a rare candy here? That would suck. I always leave the candies in my bag. Oh, that just, the ow, that hurts. I don't know if Steve also went there, but I that hurt. I don't know what, what you're talking about. Let's just say I'm about, I'm almost there to completing my rod collection. Let's see. Where can I check next? Nowhere. 
Oh, yes, the dome oh, fossil. Exactly what I was looking for. Rod, voucher, flash, item binder, cut. Do I have the ticket? I don't think I have the ticket. No, I do not. All right, we don't need that anymore. Uh, oh, wait, there's one spot I can check. That. I always forget this one exists. Did you okay, get... it's a good thing I did not go there. Oh, I, I actually need to teach a Pokemon that move before I put it away? Yes, you do. Oh, no, I hate that. All right, well, it turns out Sandslash only knows two moves at the start of the game. So now Dig is in front of Strength. That is a potential problem for the uh for victory road oh god i i always forget that that visual glitch exists uh, for those of you who don't know if uh vile plume uses pedal dance while you're in the air air with fly it will still uh shake the screen Oh, don't mind if I do. Um, I used fly, and the person switched into a parasect. It's like, yeah, I'll gladly do extra damage. Thanks. It was a free win. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, so far, we're actually starting to wind down on items. So... Unfortunately, it looks like card oh, key, the card key has a good chance at being with either Bill or Fuji, but we're going to we're going to hold out that it doesn't. You know, so big... you have so you haven't been to Bill or Fuji, huh? Correct. And I have and I've gotten every single uh, good item except for the card key. And you know what? There are a few spots to check before I check the card key. Man, having fly is so good. I know. Early game fly is awesome. I, I'm i a little scared that because I'm going through the game so fast, I'm going to end the game with not enough items. Or, hey, sorry, not what? enough levels. I actually, uh, I actually taught strength to some that wasn't my dig user. Oh my god, that was so close. I just beat Coco with 7 HP. Darn. Okay. Um, we have a lot of badges now. Um, I am going to do some real quick checks, though. Some one, one more uh, spot checks. All right, so okay, good. guy, do not be uh, hard on me like you were last time. I'm... Okay, I can deal with that. Oh, I forgot to save. Uh, please be easy. Thank you for being easy. You're a higher level than me, so that scared me. Perfect Typhlosion acquired. Oh, nice. Good for you. Are you Eevee training to get a perfect Typhlosion? Or not Eevee training, like... sorry, uh egg training I think he mentioned he was uh breeding oh let's see what was I doing crap I lost my train of thought what was I doing okay then who do I need to go to this guy All right, still don't have the card key. Actually, I forget what item I just picked up off of that one guy. It might have been... Oh, okay, I just remember what item I picked up off that guy. Regardless Oh, no, of... you just used Pedal Dance on a flying type. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Hey, hey, don't make fun of him. He has aspirations and goals that are beyond your comprehension. Hmm. <laughs> Oh man, I just missed a fly and I just got spored by a parasect. Wake up, you 
Oh my god, I'm out of fly. I'm not a high enough level for this area, and that pisses me off. Yeah, I used a level 5. I used a 5 IV Masuda Ditto with the 6 IV Mightiest Mark Typhlosion, 5 perfect IVs, except from attack, but he's a special attacker, so yeah, candy and vitamins for perfect Typhlosion. Oh, nice! What's a Masuda? Uh, it's a, basically a new method of- it's a- it's a method of, a. Uh, it's a breeding. It basically, it's called the Masuda method. It involves breeding two Pokemon, each from a different country. And most people would get like a ditto from another country, and then they'll use it with their native Pokemon. And then, uh, I think it increases the shiny odds when breeding. Is there any proof? That doesn't sound like it should. Uh, it's been confirmed by Junichi Masuda. Oh, okay. And I've had guidebooks talk about it, too. We, I've never heard of this. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I think they introduced it in Gen 4, I think. Oh my gosh. Wow, I am picking up a lot of items. Yeah, no charm. It's a 1 in 600. A charm is 1 in 512. Ah! All right, I gotta get rid of some space. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Only one reset so far. I have zero, surprisingly. Darn it, he's beating me in everything. Uh, that, no, it's just surprising. Like, the difference between I'm one gonna... reset and zero is, is like nothing. I'm gonna have to go to the extreme now. I'm gonna have to go to the Esport Islands. No. Why? Why would you, why I'm... would you botch the run like that? No, the uh, S-Word Islands has a uh, hundred rare candies in it, so I can skip all the training. Oh, see, I I didn't realize you were playing 3D chess. I was playing 3D checkers. No, not HMO5. No, that means I have to go to one of the other places, I think. What were those places? Bill and who else? Bill and Fuji. Oh. Man, it's just so satisfying when all the stuff you need to throw away is in the bottom of the bag. So you can just throw away, scroll down, throw away, scroll down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Satisfactions that 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to know what we're talking about. Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, why would I do that? I used fly on a ditto, so it transformed and got a whole bunch of stats. <laughs> Okay. Do I have um, a full restore? Yeah, I've got... Holy holy cow, I've got four full restores. And I haven't even bought any. Okay, I'm going to look at the items list here to see if there's anything I can think of real quick. Um, got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Don't got it. Uh, don't got it. Strength. Got it. Oh, there's one more. One more item. That I can get early. If it's not this one, I have to do one of the two optional trainers. I really don't want to do two, one of the two option Bill or uh, Fuji. But there's one more. No, you're wasting your time. It's not there. I, I, I'm checking anyways. No, you don't. You don't need to. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. You're right. Full, full faith. Oh my god, I got it. I got it, guys. I can skip Bill and Fuji. That's one of the perfect seeds. I still have to do all of that extra training, though, at the end of the game, because we're in the slow level up group, so it's not that perfect. Yeah. Did I just go to the third floor like an idiot? I sure did. Man, I'm so glad in modern gen, sleep only lasts, I think, up to three turns. Oh, dude, you're screwed. I got Thunder Wave. The perfect of moves. Okay, well, I'm, about get, my, uh, I'm about to get. I'm about to get my first reset. 
Let's do this. Really, really underleveled. Oh, oh, thank you. You missed a hypnosis. Yes. Are we on the same person? Uh, rival five? Yes. I'm level 34. 37. Wow, Blastoise, you, you've you got just bubble, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and Wigglytuff missed a sing. I just got two two fifty two sixty percent sleep checks in my favor. <clears throat> Let's see what the Lapras guy has. A Golduck. Nice. You know... I'm waiting for the day when I just cannot find a flyer and he happens to ha give me a Doduo. Though that will certainly be the day. Uh, it will be the day. Dude, how many trainers have a polyrath? I know, right? The next one had a polyrath for me. I mean, you know a Pokemon's good when its biggest weaknesses are just peep other Pokemon that use sleep moves. <laughs> right? Okay. Let's do this. Come on. If we can get past this battle, that would be so ideal. I think oh, we're no. doing this at literally the exact same Flareon, time. Flareon, how could you be so good? You're probably going to two-shot the Flareon, whereas it took me three. And that's going to be the difference. Yeah. Huh, I guess Giovanni had a Wigglytuff as a starter, too. Crazy how that works out. I also just realized I forgot to check the 10th floor. Um, out of curiosity, because... Uh, are the trainers at Saffron or... Uh... Blaine's Island weaker? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this illegal TM. Carbos... No, it's it's the Pokemon that shall not be named. It just keeps using Recover. The one Why are you saying shall not be named? Well, it's it's your thing. Something that you do on your stream. Oh. You know, the Pokemon that shall not be named. Oh, yeah. Does anybody else know what, what Pokemon I'm talking about? Let me try and guess. Oh, you should know immediately. Uh, you hate this Pokemon. Porygon? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Pokemon that shall not be named. Oh, you know what? While we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and deposit a few Pokemon themselves. Like, why half them? Oh, I had right. uh, Kadabra this whole time. I forgot about that. I actually found this channel looking for a Gen 1 Porygon speedrun. What? Wow. But if you don't mind me asking, why? Why would you be looking up a Gen 1 Porygon speedrun? <laughs> Mine's like the only one uh, that didn't do the run in yellow. I don't think Steve participated in the Porygon race, did you? No, no. The Porygon race is one of the reasons why I became... Uh, a solo runner. Oh. Uh, specifically Van Man's version of the video. Yeah, his video was pretty good. You can tell mine was made last minute because I had nothing planned. Van Man, yeah, this time... he pays attention to the minor details. Just stuff that I, I could not do. Since you guys don't have the insight to his video making process, uh, he'll spend hours, and I kid you not when I say hours, just listening for space gaps in his audio. Like just tiny, itty bitty audio errors. He, Van Man, uh, most, the, the channel that he talks about in the Discord the most is the audio channel. Van Man is a stickler for the audio details. I think he's just a bit obsessed with the minor details. 
And you know, it works for him. He's got like 5,000 uh, followers, I think. Okay, well, I don't know if I've battled all of Sabrina's trainers, but it's... I've taken my best shot at all of them. Oh, nice! Yeah, there are a lot of alternative setups to all the uh, other runners out there. And, you know, the thing is, we got... Most of us got our setups from, like, the same guy, I think. I don't know if Speedrunner saw uh, uh, Scott's Thoughts videos and be like, man, I can do that, and then, you know, made his own setup, and I did the same thing. And I think a lot of us were either Scott or J. Rose videos. Actually, uh, uh, I it was with the... I can't remember exactly like where I originally heard. It was during the Parasect race. Uh, I didn't exactly take the uh, the 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 uh, the overlay that he sent us and all the code. I just looked at the Game Hub app itself and I tried to learn HTML. Ooh, okay. You know, I'm finding Wiggly Tufts to be annoying to deal with. Really? Just, they're, they're, I can never one-shot them. It's just annoying because they have Sing. Hello, Pinsir. You almost were one-shot. Hypno. Okay, well, um, also almost one-shot. Dude, we're literally on the same trainers. Again. No! Stupid Gengar! No, 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 not like this. Don't make this my first reset. Do not! Did you just get your first reset? I sure did. Hey, if it makes you feel better, I have two. Yeah, well, that one was a long, drawn-out battle, and it's my own fault for not using Ice Beam and using Bubble Beam because I was trying to save on PP. Mm. Have you, uh, found any PP ups? I have found one. I actually found three, and I used all of them on Ice Beam, so it's maxed out. Whoa, where the heck would you get three? I've been going out of the way for rare candies. I've like been going out of my way, too. The only place that I didn't really, like, check the majority of the spots was in Sylph. I, I checked almost every spot in Sylph. When I was watching oh. one of your, pa your Dragonite did, one, I did, did you not do... know about the... Uh, did I you did do not Fuji? Know about the... What was that? Did you do Fuji? Uh, yeah, I ended up doing it, and he gave me a good rod, and it hurt. Ah, oh, boy. Mr. That would explain, it would explain to you why I'm three levels higher than you. It would also explain all the PP-ups. Oh, my God. Clefable, stop it with the minimize. Hmm. Do I think that uh, I should get Mimic? I think oh, it'd be a good no. safety strat. I could get rid of Peck. Oh, oh. oh right, you, you got. just reminded me there's an item I haven't picked up that I should have picked up. I said I was going to pick it up at the beginning of the run, too. And uh, it's, it's the end of the run now, and I still haven't picked it up. What was that supposed to be? Hyper Beam? No, Swift. Oh, I guess I never really used it. Well, it would have it would have just, you know, evened out my move set. Ooh, okay. I definitely avoided a big problem there with the smoke screen. Okay, you know what? It won't take long to just pick up Swift, just cuz. Forgot that item again. Oh my god, I've never even been to this city. No wonder I forgot about it. There's an entire city you've never been to? Lavender. Oh. Oh no, that means that I have one extra trainer to battle. Oh no, he's got Clefable. Clefable keeps on getting me because I keep on using uh, Fly on turn one and it sets up Minimize and I miss. That's funny.
So did you do training at uh, Sabrina? Uh, I uh, fought Blaine before Sabrina. Oh, uh, okay. That's why we we're at the same spot. Because I was like, well, how could you have done Sylphco and I'm still behind you? That doesn't make any sense. Alright. I've got, <sighs> since I've got plenty of elixirs, I'll just use one of these. I think I have some spare elixirs in my PC as well. Jeez. I don't think I have spares. I think I have, like... Well, it does help that I have 16 ice beams. Oh, right. That certainly does help. Yeah. Boy, PPF I don't... Cool. You can try them sometime. I need to revisit Sylph, because i that's the one area I didn't pick up a lot of items from, and I feel like there are probably a lot of good items there. There always is. Yeah. I was watching your uh, Dragonite VOD. Uh, I had no idea there was a hidden item in one of the heal beds. Oh, yeah, I uh, I always check that item. Yeah, I never knew that was there. Oh, it's, um, I think it's normally a max potion when you play Pokemon normally. Funny, I just went there, it happened to be a max potion. That is funny. It's also kind of funny that the uh, Psychic Gym has two Machamps. Psychic? I haven't even been- oh, Psychic Gym, yeah. Oh my god, I need to head back to the Pokemon Center. What's 37? Oh, Egg Bomb? Yep, Egg Bomb always finds a way to say hi. I, I just keep looking at the ones that I never ever use, and I just keep on asking, what is that? Every run. Mm. Alright. I know it looks like I'm spending a lot of time depositing items and whatnot, but you also got to remember that I am about to pick up a lot of items. Okay, so it was floor four, I think, was the um, the first one that had a lot. All right, calcium, I'll take that. Oh gosh. All right, floor five. It's really easy to walk around without the ro rockets around. Sure is. Escape rope, six. I never revisit, so I'm always having to, to walk around the rockets. Oh, is this floor six, I think? Oh, I got double team. Well, you said you sold that band item, so you've definitely been there. I checked every item in Sylph that I'm aware of. Quickly aware of? Yeah, because uh, I always, like, I know in the remakes, the Sylph Co. has a lot of hidden items in it, but I don't think there's as many in red and blue. Like, what I do in my Leaf Green runs, if I need a TM from the game corner, they cost around 80,000 Poké Dollars to get all the coins. I just go to Sylph and pick up the nine vitamins that are in there, and I just sell them all. Yeah, that makes logical sense. Yeah. Hey, another Wigglytuff. All right, and we'll dig out. I don't think I really got anything from, from Sylph Co. That kind of sucked. You didn't get any candies? Not any more than I already had, so I must have already picked up. I know there was one, I think. There was a candy in Sylph I remember getting. There must have been just the one. Oh, yeah. I have a Carbos. I, yeah, I picked up a Carbos and a Calcium. That was the entire Sylph Co. Dang it. Do I have a potion? Eh, who needs potions? Come to think about it, I also don't have, uh, how was it? I don't got those PP-ups. You must have picked those up in, uh, the tower. I think one was there. There was definitely another one somewhere else I know you haven't been to. Oh, boy. An Exeggutor with Fisher. <laughs> boy, I keep saving in front of all these trainers because my HP is low thanks to Magneton. We'll stop saving. You know, 
That sounds like a plan. I just missed two flies in a row. Ouch. Without a, without any accuracy drop. Hmm. Okay. Dang, it doesn't know that move. If it did, I would have stolen that move. What level are you? 49. What? I'm 47. Where the heck did, did you pick silf, up time? Remember? I did Sylph. But. But. What? But I was ahead of you. Because of the Pokey Flute. Huh. I ended up finding the Pokey Flute quite early. I almost checked uh, Blue, and then I just. I met Bill. And I just realized, hey, wait a minute, I never checked the old Amber. Oh, bummer. It's a good thing I checked, otherwise I'd be way, way, way behind. Sure would be. I still got two more battles till Giovanni. Oh, and I just, no, I just realized, I wonder if I should go back and pick up Mimic. I always forget Mimic. Why do I do this to myself? If it makes you feel better, I tried to get Mimic and I forgot the doll. Alright, let's do this. Uh, <laughs> Giovanni without all my best moves. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, another Carbos. Well, there's my... One ice beam left. Hmm. You know, we can do get just a little bit more. That might be the difference between victory and constant resets. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Guard spec. Good job, Giovanni. You actually called. You called it. That was smart of you. I was in the air. Smart, Giovanni. Good job. Huh? All that Don't training. Don't call him smart. He, ha he uses guard specs. You know, that was the one time where he called he called it with that guard spec. That may not have been a good time to uh, use all those PP ups. All right. Um. You know what? <laughs> because we're already behind speed, and if he if he just goes right through the elite four, we're we're doomed anyway. So I'm I'm gonna pick up the uh, the Poké Doll. <sighs> no, I can say no. Why can't Oak just say no? Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll get Venusword. Did you get Venusword? Nope. Why not Vitamin I drowsied, Boost? Apparently, I got drowsied. Oh my god, you're right. I could vitamin boost. It's a little too late for that, but I could um, after... Hey, uh, guess what TM I found? Blizzard? Uh, here's a hint. It was one I said I'd use if I found it in Mount Moon. Oh, yeah, that one that's not Whirlwind. No. Oh no, Whirlwind was in Sylph. I yeah, I, I know. I can I can never remember the name of it, but uh, Razorwind. Yeah. Well, if you ever feel stupid... I used fly on Kabutops. It was a misclick, but I did it. Oh, I just found a good move that I will never use. I found Body Slam. Oh, that's that's awesome. It was it was where the uh, TM for uh, it was one one of the two TMs in Victory Road. It wasn't the Mega Kick one or Explosion. It was another one. You know, I don't know the items in Victory Road, but. So yeah, I, I tried remember. to study that TM list you made and, like, where they were, but, like, there was the third TM in Victory Road I never knew about, and uh, I could never remember what where it is, but I found it. Couldn't remember. I can't remember what it's supposed to be. And maybe you'll never know. I'll just have to look back at the list. No, maybe you'll just never know. It will always be a blur. 
You know, I don't think level is going to be much of a factor. I think I've got like five rare candies, so... Assuming all goes well. Just need... Have you started the league? Not yet. Okay, well, I am still in Victory Road. I'm still in Victory Road. And I plan on going... Mm, no, never mind. I was going to say, I plan on going back for, for, like, calcium, but, you know, I think at this point it's too late for that. Either I was going to do it or I wasn't. Oh, I never learned Blizzard. I, I had the chance, but I just chose not to because I already used three PP ups on Ice Beam. I'm going to learn Blizzard at 51. I just play. have to... Uh... <gasps> no! What was that? I just dig. Oh. Oh. It was the last rock. Oh. That hurts. I was going to say, let's do this, but... Oh, that hurts. That's like a whole minute or whatever. Oh, I think I think I've done that before in one of our other races. I remember I did that. Oh, dig! Why? I also blasted everyone's ears. <laughs> what happened? Uh, what are we gonna call that? You 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 uh pulled a dig in strength, or what should we call it? It's just it's just a Victor Road dig. We need something something based on dig, like the the big dig. Man, I was hoping to use this move, but it just keeps missing. Yeah, well, it's it the won't big work dig. on that thing. It won't work on that thing. Or that thing either. How many deeds, Bruno? Are you trying to rip off Agatha? Alright, only one more Ow. One more strength to go. You Bruno's know, trying to rip off Agatha. We are making really good time, so I'm not too disappointed. Hmm. I really contemplated oh, yes, cheating, Bruno. though. Uh, oh yes, Bruno. Use uh, X Defend on a frozen Pokemon. our items we've got oh only four rare candies ouch I have five hmm. maybe maybe I already had no. one on me possibly oh I've only got one max elixir going in the league oh All but right, I, I better be careful not to use it I had one At max elixir. after this I had one max elixir and two regular ones all right, Agatha, or no, sorry, Lorelei, let's do this. I was like, wait, how'd you skip two trainers? Well, I did them secretly, under your nose. Wake up. Nope, no, oh. Oh, that. Ooh, okay. Luckily, you missed that move. Why am I saving PP? Why am I doing that? Especially since I was just going to learn Blizzard right there. Boy, I need to know. I need to know what a stab. Alright, hold on. Oh, I need to know what a stab Blizzard looks like on Dragonite. What kind of power it is. Someone would have to do, uh, 150 power... Or sorry, sorry, 120 power times 50%. Uh, that would be 180 times 4. 360, 720. Right, right, you're right, right. Don't forget the PP up. Smart, smart. Good call. Uh-oh, no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, that's a lot. 
Okay, I think I'll just Ice Beam you now. Thank you. If I had the extra Blizzard, that might have done the trick. Feels bad. Alright, now I can use my Max Elixir. Okay, if, let's see what you got now. If we lose again, I think I'm going to use the uh, the rare candies. I'm not going to lose to Bruno twice. That's just not happening. Did you see who, he was <gasps> trying to run off Agatha? Dude! Bruno pulled off the com wombo combo. <laughs> Bruno pull managed to pull off agility into horn drill. Dang, that's... Did it land? Yeah. Oh, Dang, Bruno's trying to be smart today. <laughs> wow, Bruno with the strats. Okay. Seeking, interestingly defensive. You know, on one of my Bruno attempts, I tried to copy Horn Drill, and it just kept missing, and I died. You know, I had a feeling this would happen, where Gengar would actually be a annoying problem, and I also had a feeling that I'd hit myself, but I did it anyways. Oh, critical hit. Calm down. Okay, Bruno. Bruno, 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 come on, come on, come on, Bruno. You can't be like this. You are, you are not supposed to be this good. Why do you have two Gengars? Like, why? And why is Sea King surprisingly good? 105.24. Oh, uh, well, I have negative two seconds, guys. Four resets at level 61. At level? 61. Oh, right, 61. Oh, wow. You are way higher of a level. Yeah, when I finished Lance, I was level 56, and I used all my candies. 408 game time. This well, is you actually won. my best... This is actually my best uh, randomizer race to date. It beats Snorlax. Wow. Well, congratulations. You won one convincingly. Yeah. You know what I actually did in Victory Road? Uh, I was ahead of you for quite a while, but then you managed to uh, patch me up in the Victory Road. I was grinding on trainers in the Elite and the Victory Road. Oh. Because I felt like I might need it. That That's probably going to be the difference in this run. All right, so let's uh, add this one row above. You know, I don't, think, I don't think that's a bad thing. I got poisoned off of Poison Sting. Yeah, I could just add that later. Did I just... Let's bring up, uh, bring up your stream. I'm dumb. I am just making the bonehead plays. I used Fly against Cloyster. Like, I, Blizzard, you know, has got less than half the power, but it's it's going to be twice as effective. We all know it. All right. Well, I'm curious how many minutes you'll win by. On the bright side, uh, we're definitely going to beat my expectation. Yeah, I, Articuno got a really good seed with some of the key items. Yes, that was the difference maker in this run was the key items for sure um also uh if i had done some of those extra key item spot spot spots i probably would have been a higher level too so maybe it's kind of a blessing and a curse where are you max okay would you get 104 Forget something uh, 105, 24. 105? Okay, so it looks like it's two minutes, assuming the champion's not hard. Yeah. Ooh, I got poisoned by Muck. Honestly, I think that's a good thing. Why would you think that's a good thing? Well, it means I'm not going to get paralyzed. And it means I'm also not going to go to sleep. Oh. Oh, Magneton just used Swift on me in the air! And then Fly didn't finish it off. I'm so disappointed. That's just a... Lapse in judgment by me. Also, another lapse in judgment, not using Blizzard. That, that's on me. I made bonehead play after bonehead play. Actually won that rival fight on the first try. 
Yeah, well, that's how bad my bonehead plays were. <laughs> you want me to wait until you finish this to tell you what my strategy was? No, I I, I think I think this one will be fine. I did no, get I paralyzed, though. I can so. tell you, you don't... You, you, you don't have Mimic on your moveset. Uh, I actually mimicked uh, Harden and Badge Boosted. I am I am getting very pissed. I, I've been fully paralyzed now. Yeah, I see that. Uh, I was fully paralyzed and missed two blizzards. Like, I, this, this isn't even a bad battle. It's just all the luck is against me. Wow. Hmm, it's cropped up, but I'm, I'll just, uh, I'll leave it like this. Quit thunder-waving me, bro! Boy, I was really I right mean, when I said, uh, I wanted to be poisoned. That would was a good call. Oh my god, I'm getting pair-wrapped of a victory bell. No. Man, the problem is with watching your stream and hearing you on the voice call, the stream is always, like, two seconds behind and you're spoiling it. I... Oh man, dude, the pair wrap is absolutely Oh, and I missed! No! What is with this para wrapping crap? Stop oh. it! I can't believe it! He's got a strategy he never knew he could do. I recommend do you have mimic? Just teach mimic. I do, but at this point I I, I am fully committed. No, don't pull a don't pull a snorlax on me. Stop using Thunder Wave! No! It's good AI. The Magneton's only gonna use Thunder Wave. Oh, wow. You're right. It will. I need... I need this Victory Belt to stop para-wrapping me. Please. Please stop para-wrapping me. Oh, it, it... Oh, okay. It missed the para-wrap, and then I got fully paralyzed. Oh, Oh, I'm so stupid. I thought Bubble Beam would do it. Oh, so you actually top Blizzard over Ice Beam, huh? Why wouldn't I? That's like a good plan. Oh, I guess I didn't do it because I had the three PP ups. Okay, the champion cost me three minutes. Partly stupidity, partly bad luck. Seven resets. Boy, I just, I was, at the beginning of the run, I just mentioned like eight. Eight is kind of like the minimum for most of the runs. Like you expect to get like eight. What was my game time? I think it was 409. Yeah. 424 though. Wow. That's really good. Ugh, game time wise. Um, let me see how it compares. Oh, I already closed it. That's fantastic. Gotta love that. Uh, thanks for another great stream. Yeah, appreciate it, man. I'm always glad that you hang out. That's, you know, that's my favorite part when people, people show up. It's always the best part. All right, top monitor. So we got 111. Thanks, John. 111 puts it up there with Kingler. And Kingler was the other Pokemon that got it, like, got no, uh, no Bill and no Sylph. 418? Yeah, I would have had no, uh, I would have had no, uh, uh, Pokemon Tower, but I ended up doing him thinking he had something. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in front of Kingler or behind Kingler. I... I feel like... You know what? It was the final battle me not using Mimic that caused me to have the problem, so I think... I think yeah, technically it action. would have done better than Kingler if I had just not made the mistakes. So I think, I think I'll put it in front of Kingler. Yeah, yeah, that's really good for a slow level up. Yeah, it really is. Especially uh, for one that doesn't learn much of anything. For the longest time, there were no slow level up Pokemon in like the top five. Now there are going to be two. Yeah. Hmm. All right, guys. Um, so just want to remind you guys that we are going to be possibly doing our last practice run in Gen 2 tonight. We figured out the saving issue. The ROM hates rewinding. So, no rewinding, not even for dumb, stupid, little mistakes. I will just have to blackout train. It's against 
everything that I stand for, and unfortunately, it's just something I'll have to do. Um, other than that, I think I think Gen 2 is going to go over pretty well. We've got some interesting rules that are going to make the game's very variations a lot lot different. So one of the one of the big rules is you only need one badge to get to red. But you also have to keep in mind, you still have to talk to Oak, which means we have to get past the Storlax. So it's not that simple, but it allows us to visit Red as early as we want. Doesn't oh, mean don't forget, uh, you c even with one badge, you're able to, to, go to go to Mount Silver. You still have to beat the Elite Four for him to show up. That's what I found out. Yes. So it's not like stupid easy, but it's going to give us the option to hail mary you know if speed says hey um i have just beaten i don't know uh beaten so and so it allows me the ability to just go visit red and try <laughs> yeah plus if we see what he has we could think we could theory craft on what to do um, unmap, so Cole Daniel says I should unmap the rewind button. So here's the other thing, um, when it comes to the rewind button, I, I don't want to unmap it just because I'm still going to be doing the Gen 1 ones, and I don't use it, like, that much, but, again, I'm only using it for, like, the absolute most boneheaded of bonehead plays, like, I just, like, basically, I, I only use the, the rewind for un, like, accidentally learning over another move, and, it's not, it's not like the end of the world, if um, if the saving doesn't work, in uh, Gen Two, like for instance, if I teach over return for a Pokemon that 100% needs return, I will rewind, and the consequences will be, there is no resetting. I will just have to black out every time I lose. Yeah. Every time. So, you know. I, I, the ability to accidentally learn over a move is so detrimental in these these other Pokemon games. And I think was it Gen Four that added the ability to to relearn moves, or was it three? Three. Oh, the Heart Scale. Yeah, yeah, Gen Three. So, yeah, it's just something like you. If you teach over Return, you might as well just give up. Like it's it's for the biggest bonehead plays. Yeah. Like. Using the rewind button today instead of di like digging out of the gym, now that's like cheating. But, you know, if I had, you know, let's say taught Blizzard over, well, my first move ended up being fly. But if I had taught Blizzard over uh, Bubble Beam, I would have rewinded. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much, and I will see you guys again tomorrow, where we are going to be... Oh, right. I don't even know what we're going to be playing. Let's see. Did something end up taking it last last second? Let's find out. Oh, I voted for uh, uh, Ursaring. Oh, okay. So if you guys don't know, the little poll yesterday was 33, 33, 34, 33, 34, 33. And it just kept on switching the leader. Looks like Slowking has taken the lead. So we'll be doing Gen 2 Slowking, non-randomizer, just a regular run, Slowking. Mm. I will definitely point out the difference between Slowking and Slowbro. I actually don't think there's a big, um, big stat difference as far as like overall amount of stats i think they just get reallocated like scyther uh, and scizor the difference is is a uh, one's a king and one's your bro right right i don't actually think there's much of a change but i'll go over it at the beginning of the stream so you guys know because i don't know the difference and i think a lot of people will want to know the difference anyways have a nice night guys and see you tomorrow bye